roll all, all of our lentil ground just to push the rocks down as much as we can. It's getting uh, pretty dry. It's not concerning yet, but smiling from ear to ear right now. Oh, it's just starting to rain here. It's June 6th. So we're gonna go drive over get the old trusty dusty 4440. Go move this gravity flow wagon. Yeah, the wipers don't work, and yes, the windows are still dirty. Old trusty dusty 4440. So we got everything put away here now. The extractor. Another little fun fact Friday. Oh, I guess it's not Friday, it's Saturday. Even better, I'm in a tractor and it's raining. So we had a little bit of a mishap as I was gophering and following the semi. It's a good gophering rule to never go for right behind something. today there isn't much wind today I got out of the house it's been a busy week finally got out of the house got some fresh air feels good and I mowed at one of the farms Willa I brought my sidekick with me but yeah this week has been super busy been busy writing and uh, lots of meetings and yeah so plans I guess but uh, man, does it feel good to get some fresh air and it is nice today. And thank goodness there's no, uh, there's no wind and there might be rain coming. So, and uh, today it was the first time I've mowed with, um, without a steering wheel. It's one of those zero point. And uh, Matt just rolled his eyes because it took me a little bit to get used to it. Um, but then after a while I, I uh, got rolling. So uh, it feels good to get that get that job done and do it. Mm -hmm. It feels good that I didn't crash. I was worried because uh, there was a truck kind of in the middle at the start and it has a, some steep, not cliffs because it's Saskatchewan, but some steep hills. Um, but I, I didn't crash and I even managed to go on a straight line this first time. Uh, he was hoping maybe a diagonal and I thought, whoa, that's, uh, we'll eventually get there. Maybe this next, next time. But for now, let's hope that I don't crash or break anything. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Morning everyone, afternoon, whatever it is, I don't even know anymore. I'm pretty tired, I was up all night last night spraying, it's been pretty windy, so I gotta spray when I get the chance, which has been between 2 in the morning and 5, 6 in the morning, so right now I'm just putting on some liquid fertilizer, the last of it, last tank actually, so I'm pretty pumped about that, it's a big job, but big job done. Our fertilizer program, what we do is we throw an S15 potash blend in with uh, with the drill and then uh, we anhydrous our canola and, and cereal acres. Um, lentils, we just put a little bit of S15 with it. But then for the canola, we, uh, we go and top dress about 30 pounds of nitrogen after the fact. Um, just because one, it needs sulfur. I got a little bit of sulfur in there. Um, we found, we buy our fertilizer and uh, take delivery on our fertilizer in in the winter time. Well, we usually buy it in the fall uh, for the following year, but we take delivery in the winter time. And we found that uh, the dry sulfur with the blend, with the S15 potash blend, will actually have a chemical reaction and it does some funny stuff and makes clumps and stuff. So we decide to spray it. So yeah, that's a little bit about the fertilizer program. It's kind of hard to understand why we do it. And you know, it's it's not ideal. It is a lot of work, but the thing is, it's really nice at seeding time when uh, Matt pulls into a field and canola field and, and does about 130 acres to a fill or 120 acres to a fill because uh, we're not putting all the fertilizer down. If we were to put all the fertilizer down with a drill, um, we would have to hire a guy just to service that drill with 
with all the fertilizer that it needs because we put quite a bit down. So this year we, a lot of our fields are seeing 100 and 130 pounds of nitrogen and 30, 40 pounds of uh, floss and I think about 30 pounds of uh, potash. So yeah, quite a bit of product. So yeah, no, I'm just finishing this gravel banding here today and then I'm gonna switch over and start my ink crop today actually. So pretty excited for that. Uh, get some seat time again and get out of this wind hopefully. And then uh, looking forward to the weekend actually. I'm heading up north to Clark Lake to do an annual fishing trip. So, and this year, pretty special to me because uh, my oldest daughter's coming with me. So I'm happy to shore the ropes and good company and sounds like there's about 15 or 20 of us that are that are going this year so it's gonna be a lot of fun but anyways you can see that I'm looking around a lot here because I'm going around trees and stuff so I'm gonna let you go for now and just out doing a little bit of crop scouting gonna looks like we're gonna get a break from the wind as you can see it's well maybe you can't see but uh, it's like 60 kilometer an hour winds right now but it looks like we're gonna get a break here Friday so I'm just doing a little bit of scouting here and we're gonna hit uh, in crop pretty hard Friday, uh, try to get caught up. This particular field is lentils and what I'm doing right now is going over the field really good uh, to see what kind of weed spectrum I do have uh, to decide what needs, uh, what, it need, what needs to be sprayed. So in this field here uh, we had barley and what we did uh, two years ago in the fall was put down fortress which is a different group uh, for your wild oats um, so this field is actually really clean um, I'm, I'm not finding a whole pile just a little bit of volunteer canola and, and a little bit of buckwheat and stuff so I think the Odyssey will get it uh, just the normal Odyssey uh, if there was wild oats in this field I would uh, do Odyssey Ultra which gets the wild oat but might as well save the money. I I don't think it needs to be done, which is kind of nice. Wish I didn't have to do any spraying, but that's not. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> so yeah, just spending the day uh, going through the crops. We two days ago, me and Matt were in our canola fields, and we ended up spraying uh, 700 acres of canola for flea beetle damage. The flea beetles are really bad this year. So we ended up making the call yesterday and last night I started spraying them and the wind came down so it's not something I like doing it spraying uh, spraying insecticide like that but take all the precautions and it's not it's not that bad everything looks good uh, like I said 700 acres of canola that was affected with the flea beetles but other than that the lentils look amazing Wheat is coming up nice, the rest of the canola is real nice, good germination. Uh, we are very dry, uh, we do need a rain. There's a lot of canola that is laying in dry dirt right now that hasn't germinated, so if we ever, well, they're calling for rain on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so hopefully uh, we do get that. Good day everybody, just out doing some rolling today. A little windy so I can't do any spraying and I'm uh, fairly caught up actually so spending some time on the roller we roll all, all of our lentil ground uh, just to push the rocks down as much as we can just because we're scraping like the lentils will only grow uh, I don't know what they grow maybe a, a foot high somewhere around there so the combine headers will be scraping the ground and trying to pick them up so we try to get rid of as many rocks as possible so pretty mindless job but it's got to happen it's uh, kind of bummed out today we missed the big green that we were supposed to have yesterday it's getting uh, pretty dry it's not concerning yet but uh, we're seeding into moisture yet but uh, the top layer is definitely getting pretty powdery and pretty dry Wind, wind, and wind. More wind. Smiling from ear to ear right now. Ah, uh, it's just starting to rain here. It's June 6th. We've had a pretty good week. Uh, well, terrible week of wind. I'm waiting on this rain. Uh, we finally got some spraying done. Derek, I uh, have to give him full credit here. He's been pushing hard to uh, get spraying done. Our lentils were all ready to go and we managed to get them all sprayed yesterday. I helped them a bit. 
sprayed a few hundred acres and then uh, yeah he finished up there last night the lentils all look great I've also had some bugs in our uh, first or earliest seeded roundup ready canola we had some flea beetle damage a little bit of frost damage and a few other things there uh, that seem to be affecting the crop so it's all been sprayed for flea beetles there now with matador and the first pass to round up because there were some weeds coming in now what I'm doing is I'm gonna go well like anything um, there's always a few little things that need to be put away just due to this rain so I have a gravity flow wagon with uh, seed lentils in it I don't know there's maybe 50 or 100 bushels in it but I don't want them to get wet and rot in the gravity flow wagon so I'm gonna go put them away I've got both combines sitting um, we had a technician come out from Young's equipment to look at our uh, flex drapers and have a look at our swather uh, he is kind of the guru on MacDon equipment um, our straight cut headers are MacDon and our swather is a MacDon swather so he uh, goes and does a bit of a check over and then I'll do the repairs on them so uh, but anyways I'll show you guys what a timely rain this is friggin awesome so we're gonna go drive over the old trusty dusty 4440 go move this gravity flow wagon yeah the wipers don't work and yes the windows are still dirty uh, there's the pump house kind of a little show about uh, our bin yard those are all 4800 bushel hopper bottom bins fertilizer storage on the other side and uh, liquid storage in the green bins down there terrible lighting here right now but anyways we're all hooked up uh, a great video I'm sure a great videographer this morning anyways gravity full wagons got lentil seeds in it uh, we're gonna take it over to Hobbs's closet oh no could it be Dude, these windows are left down Actually, it's probably a good thing it's so dusty in that cab of that truck. Poor old beautiful. She's seen better days. She's got a little cancer on her, but you better roll the windows up. I hate to see it have a clean interior. So, yeah, give you a little rundown. I'm surprised this door even seals. Oh. It's got a little cancer, but yeah, she's beautiful. There we go, all sealed up, airtight as we can have it. A little picture of the unit, gravity flow wagon. Yeah, it does have a tarp on it, but it's terrible. Leaks. That seed's worth quite a bit of money and we would like to reuse it. So, anyways, old trusty dusty 4440. Alrighty, we're here at the Westby Yard. Gonna put her into the Quonset. Uh, these are a little challenge to back up because they have such a short hitch and the way the axle assembly is set up on them, they're really sensitive to turning. Uh, it usually takes me about 20 tries to get it backed up. Uh, maybe that's somebody else can do it easier but uh, it's just the way I do it so anyways no sense leaving this thing out too this is our extractor we're gonna put it away in the Quonset also great picture man great picture you really see it well so we got everything put away here now the extractor right there sorry I don't have an expensive camera I'm doing this all on my iPhone so I got the lights on they're orange but anyways yeah got the gravity flow wagon extractor parked it's gonna be nice things out of the elements everything's gonna be nice all the pallets there that's what all our canola seed comes on uh so anyways we gotta get this place cleaned up another little fun fact friday oh well, i guess it's not friday it's saturday uh, anyways, you can see the weed on the ground there, but this is in the Westby yard too. This kind of makes it a little unique. This bin here uh, holds between 
3,000 to 3,500 bushels of grain. We use it for storage. Uh, a little fun fact about this bin is it actually started its life out. Uh, I'm not too sure where it started out at. Is it used to help hold water for the trains back in the day. Uh, it was classified as a water tower uh, for holding water for old uh, coal fire uh, trains. They're steam trains. So you can see all the little holes in the bottom there. That's from rats. Uh, yes, we do have rats in Saskatchewan. We're not like Alberta. They're a rat-free province, but yes, we have rats and mice. And that's what that little white sign is, saying that there's poison in there, so. Today is a good day. Uh, <laughs> it rained, it finally rained. So we're gonna go out to the farm and check to see if there's puddles. Uh, but yesterday was my first day uh, riding a zero, Zero turn lawnmower. Zero turn lawnmower. And uh, I did manage to get most of the grass cut. I did leave a little piece, but... Uh, <laughs> did you bring the keys? I Oh no, I didn't bring the key. I had to go back and get the key. Um, but I was pretty bad, wasn't I? I was really bad. Just it's hard. Well, you're, you're so nice to me. Because <laughs> uh, you were, there was a point in time where uh, I think you asked if... Uh, you asked if I should be doing this by myself or if you if you could go. Well, I was mostly worried because the dog seemed to follow you right close and I thought <laughs> it's gonna... we might have a death in the family <laughs> from a stone flying out of the mower. But... Stone or, or, I get it because those things, it's all opposite. So it was hard, but I did it. I was quite proud of myself too. So what are we, or we're, we're going back to get the key and then what else are we doing? We're going to the farm. We got a bunch of equipment that was being looked at by a technician the other day. Like the combine? The combine, well, there are primarily our straight cut headers and our swather. We have a guy that came in and did an inspection on our straight cut headers and our swather. So we're gonna go put the combines away. Yay. Uh, and put the four wheel drives away also. And maybe get rained on. Hopefully. Hopefully. So now we're at the farm, uh, the Kelly Martin farm, and the dirt is a little... Martin Kelly. Martin whatever. Kelly. The, the ground is a little wet, but now I get to drive the tractor to another farm. It's your grain cart tractor. <laughs> so I'm just driving it down the road and... I'll just go out to the other farm. Okay. We'll see you later. Just heading up the farm. I think he's following me. I don't know if I'm going first. And Copeland is driving. <laughs> Everyone gets to drive today. Even better, I'm in a tractor and it's raining. Or sprinkling, maybe not raining, but sprinkling. And there's clouds. Whew. I, people think uh, Saskatchewan is super flat. Uh, I just went down the biggest coulee and uh, even in a car makes me a little bit uh, scared and I did it in the tractor so I uh, take that as a win for today. Pretty, pretty comfortable myself um, and I didn't even scream but I always, I always do. I screamed a lot on the mower yesterday. <laughs> so I made it here and uh, I left the lawnmower out by Matt's truck so I think I'm going to put that away. I don't know where everyone is though. I think they must be in the Quonset that's past the shop and they're moving the headers and the combine in the Quonset. Oh, and I don't want a wet tushy so <laughs> brought uh, some blue towels because it's still it's raining. had a little bit of a mishap as I was gophering and following the semi. It's a good gophering rule to never gopher right behind something. And, uh, and he likes to move it. Uh, so one of the sprayer containers flew off. It is pretty windy. One of the sprayer containers flew off and was a kite and went into a field. So you got to go pick that up. But uh, always good to strap things down Make sure they're tight and never fall directly behind something. 
So uh, I'm going to pull this out of the field, put it in the back of the truck. up the semi we picked up that chemical thing micronutrient box micronutrient box that is pretty light and can fly like a kite Man, it's got air miles, <laughs> it's got air miles. Yeah. it collected 100 air miles yeah. <laughs> get three air miles with every <laughs> chem tote and uh, we have to go back go free duties this morning uh, go back and pick up the, the sprayer yeah uh, yeah and then and then go free duties are done uh, no we got and other things we're gonna move. No, yeah, everything's done. Now. Hopefully, it'll rain by then. I hope so. Okay. Yeah, we don't have to go. It's to still wet. Too. Beauty seat soaking wet. My butt is just. <laughs> the window Be got left rolled um, down. Beauty is the blue truck. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Good day, everybody. I was spraying this morning, and I picked up some hitchhikers. Hey, okay. can you say hi? So these are my two daughters, Danica being the oldest and Jaslyn being the youngest. Are you are you going to school? You're going to start school in the fall? And what are you doing right now instead of school? Where do you spring. No, yeah, we're spring, but where do you go during the day? Daycare. You go to daycare? Did you brush your hair this morning? <laughs> uh, last night was Jaslyn's first night staying at the, the new farm and what did we do? Hot tub. We sat in the hot tub. Well something funny about Jaslyn that I remember, he would have been just talking so I don't know how old she was and I made a really delicious supper, uh, I can't remember what it was, I think it was prime rib and uh, the whole nine yards and we're sitting there and she just, she's a picky eater but she just gobbled it up in like two minutes. And I asked her if she liked dad's cooking and she says, yes, it's very yummy. And I said, is it better than a restaurant? And she says, yep. And she paused for a couple seconds and she says, a cheap one. <laughs> you like coming on the sprayer, don't you? Yeah. You spent quite a bit of time in the sprayer last year with me. This is your first time this year though, hey? I'm in grade eight. And what else have you been doing? Instead of going to school. Sleeping. <laughs> online online school? Yeah. Since COVID doesn't allow you to go to school? Exactly. Being a pain in my butt. Hey Jazz? That's funny, hey? Uh, what are we doing this weekend? Uh, we're going fishing at Clark Lake for four to five days. Yep, so I'm trying to catch up on spraying here, so it allows us to go. Matthew's going to fill in the void and do some spraying, so pretty cool. Well, one story about Danica. Do you remember the pink elephant? No. No? no. Okay, yes. you, yeah. I so I my dad started that. Um, we used to, the kids used to ride with him a lot, and as soon as we'd fall asleep, he would say, you missed the pink elephant. So we would fight and fight and fight, try to stay awake. So I played that with Danica uh, when she was young, and she was probably two years old, and we were sitting at the, the kitchen table the one morning, and I said, you missed the pink elephant. She says, no, I didn't. I said, yes, you did. She says, no, it was in the bush across the yard, and the school bus hit it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't remember that? No. <laughs> so no more pink elephant, I guess. That's uh, it for today. We're going to give her, give her, and catch up on spraying here. So have a good day.